Google Slides has many integral features, but you may find that you need something particular that is not built in. Slides add-ons are specific tools made by third parties. This means that they are not created by Google itself. People install them to have extra features within their Google Slides presentations. To get started, let's go to Add-ons on the toolbar. Then, Get Add-ons. I'm going to take a look at Pear Deck for Google Slides. When looking at add-ons, it is important to check if it has a good rating, substantial number of users, and is compatible with the Google app that you want to use. You should use your best judgment in order to see if you can trust it to access various aspects of your Google account. By reading the overview, you can note how useful it would be as the tool that you need. This one is for teachers to engage their students while they use any internet-connected device. To get the add-on, click Install. This dialog box will ask you if you want to begin the installation process. By clicking Continue, you are agreeing that you understand the terms of use of the add-on. Next, you'll select the Google account that you want to use with it. You may be wondering what the add-on will access in regards to your Google account. Most of them will have this type of dialog box to let you know. Oftentimes, add-ons will have access to all of your documents. Click Allow if you still trust it after taking the time to inform yourself. Google Slides shows you where to find it on the toolbar. Click Done, then close out of it. Most add-ons show up as panels on the right side of the screen. Also, they may have features that are only available with premium subscriptions that you can sign up for through creating an account with the add-on. For Pear Deck, the features that have a gold star are premium features. To use these starred features, you'll need to pay for a subscription as an individual or see if your school has a paid subscription. What's unique about Pear Deck is that it has a template library for educators to build their class presentations. Here it has categorized slide templates. I'm going to click on Beginning of Lesson. I want a text slide that tells students what they need for materials and has them answer a question about their homework. I like the first one. It may take a few seconds for the template to show up. You can edit the slide to include information that you need. In order to start or present with this particular one, you will have to create an account. Many add-ons may redirect you to their website and require that you make an account in order to use it. It is up to you to decide what type of subscription that you want. To remove it from your Google account, click Add-ons, then Manage Add-ons. You can uninstall it by clicking on the three dots and selecting Uninstall. There are many to choose from, but it is up to you to determine if you trust the add-on and if you find its features beneficial. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.